for the years some that I thought were so dope um in that year and I'm gonna try this y'all welcome to my channel Jada Denise Art if you're new here my name is Jada and today we are going over so much of my art from like 8th grade 10th grade 11th 12th and beyond and to give y'all some context I am a senior in college at this point so we're going over so many art pieces so many that were awful okay I won't lie some of them were awful <laughs> and some of my best pieces some of my best recent work and I want to bring y'all along so y'all can see that journey up until now because art is a process from what I've learned. I have slashed canvases with a literal kitchen knife, all types of stuff to get here. So we're not going to see those slash canvases because I'm not going to incriminate myself further. But <laughs> we are going to be going over some of my favorite pieces, some of my worst pieces and some pieces that have even ended up in restaurants. So if you want to see all of that, just stay tuned. So the first piece we're starting out with is a piece all the way back from middle school, literally seventh grade. I did this piece. Um, this piece has no title because I didn't know what to title it at the time. Um, but this was one of my favorite pieces for years. Like I thought I was the artist of all artists because of this piece. It is a tissue paper and construction paper piece. The black outline is just construction paper. We went through with um, X-Acto knives, cut out whatever design we were doing, and then attach tissue paper to the back with glue. Like a really simple, easy project. I thought this was amazing. And at the time, my art teacher did as well. This art teacher I absolutely loved. Like I didn't really have any art teachers that I didn't love, but I loved this guy so much. He was so cool. He like always was so attentive with my artwork if I needed help and stuff because he kept telling me like what I was doing was good like all the time. Like he really put that belief in me like, okay, I'm, I'm doing a good job. I'm really dope at this stuff. And he actually submitted this to go into a restaurant in that city that I was going to school in um a pretty upscale fancy looking restaurant I've never eaten in there I've never even walked in there I know the outside looks really nice and it's got a lot of like good reviews online and stuff but it went in that restaurant and I just was like telling everybody like my grandma and my mom I'm like oh my god I have one of my little art pieces in this restaurant and we should go eat there when they're like oh yeah we will that was that's so cool blah blah all the stuff that you tell a kid at the time. But um, yeah, I never actually got to see it in that restaurant, but this was like literally one of my favorite pieces and one of the pieces that I can remember best from um, childhood. So this piece is a mess. This piece is a mess. <laughs> um, so this piece I think I did in grade don't quote me I'm trying to remember what schools I did this in but I went to literally four different high schools so I just everything's a blur for the most part but let's stick with 10th grade I think I did this in 10th grade this piece was made with I think this is regular paper I'm, it's obviously not regular paper it's some special type of paper because we went over it with crayon um, underneath we like did our outlines and went in with crayon and then we put India ink over the top and like scribbled out and cross hatched and made our designs in the India ink and left what you know what we wanted to be black um, so that's that I was like super obsessed with flowers <laughs> at this point in time I don't know why okay like even with that last piece with the anchor that was a phase to like if I had all of my art from middle school, it was like majority of anchors because of this guy I was obsessed with. Not at my school, literal celebrity I was obsessed with and he had like an anchor tattoo and I was just so into that, blah, blah, blah. A lot of my pieces from 10th grade were flowers to the point where I remember the art teacher at the time was like, okay, girl, we, we gotta do something else. We gotta switch it up. But this was 
one of my favorite pieces for a while solely because of these white flowers and this little orb here i was like oh i did that i did that because like detail in the design and the attention and everything i was like i did that all of this is a mess i don't even know what i was going for i couldn't even tell you what type of flowers these are this looks like an orange i don't know but yeah this is definitely from 10th grade one of my favorite pieces for a while until i realized it is horrendous <laughs> Mm. I don't want to talk bad about girly. I don't want to talk bad about Miss Miss Girl. Because I got like a really good grade for her. <laughs> this was our pointillism period in, I want to say 11th grade. This might have been 12th, but I'm going to say 11th. Um, we were going through like our pointillism um, period in the course and I could not think of what to do. And I did it last minute to the point where I had to take some supplies home to do it. So I just did the best I could, literally the best I could. And while it sucks, while it sucks, okay, hear me out. I got up there because we had to present on these pieces and I'm like, oh, I did her to symbolize black womanhood and taking back the narrative of everything being ghetto and dark-skinned women and everything like that and it was a really dope presentation honestly and I met everything that I said but she was definitely last minute and you could definitely tell um because I know some people are so confused when they see this this is bubblegum okay she blew a bubble because I cannot draw paint cross hatch whatever point of lies lips to save my life I cannot do it I can't tell you why I just can't like I'm so bad at that between hands and lips I can't do it so I was like forget it this is last minute I don't have time to keep going over and trying to do lips just have her bowl and bubble gum and I thought that was genius I'm like and then it fit um, with my presentation and what I had thought this piece meant to me in the end so I was like this will do um yeah my teacher at the time my favorite 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 art teacher of all time if you ever see this you already know you i love you to death um <laughs> she was like this is amazing she i think it got hung up somewhere in the school as well and i was like super proud of it i want everybody to see it and now looking back at it i was like girl no you didn't no you didn't she looked like that one girl sister is it a gross sister? Child, not a gross sister at all. I don't even know why I said that. She looks like the black version of that one girl off Ed and Eddie with the like curls that are down in her face. I don't remember old girl's name, but she looks like her. And I think that same girl be blowing bubble gum and stuff too. So maybe subconsciously that's where I got this from. <laughs> so this one I know for a fact was 12th grade um, when we were doing like architecture and stuff like that. We had to literally walk around because my school was downtown in our city. And um, we had to walk around and find buildings to do, take a picture of it, and we were gonna come back inside and work on this for like a week. We have something in my city that's called the Field House. It's like where basketball games happen, training, all that good stuff is like just a staple pretty much in the community and to our school and everything. So I chose a field house for those reasons, obviously. I'm like, it's really popular. When people see this, they know what it is. So I did this and this took me so long. Like that same teacher was like, this is not it. She's like, the shading is wrong. You don't see this here. I'm like, oh, curl, like this looks so amazing to me. What are you talking about? Like, she's like, the plants are flat, blah, blah, blah. And to this day, I'm like, this is an amazing piece. <laughs> like, I did my best here. Like, this looks good to me. I think if I were to finish it, it should be hung up somewhere. It's my teacher. I think I did a good job. And I should have got an A on this. So this is the last piece that I have, like, with me, with me from high school. Um, my mom has a lot of them at her house in, like, my old bedroom, but... This was one of the last pieces I remember from 12th grade. This is that cross hatching period and 
once again it was one of those situations where i just chose something to do last minute i absolutely was like i don't i don't know what i'm gonna draw i don't even know how to cross hatch really well i wish i had the cross hatching piece with me from 10th grade because it was literally atrocious like atrocious so that compared to this i am always like i'm an artist i i deserve to be in a gallery somewhere so this one i'm not even gonna bother putting on the stand this was my first ever um oil piece <laughs> like i predominantly do oil um oil paint now but this was my first ever oil piece and this was like literally just me trying it because i was watching youtube videos forever like oh my gosh i love oil paint i love how it looks like i i've always hated acrylic paint because of how fast it dries just like oh i'll try oil paint that was my first piece my second piece was a kehlani portrait that we will definitely jump into seeing maybe later because i just don't have it with me right now it's actually hung up on my wall somewhere so i don't want to go rip it off the wall so i'll probably record it um in like a, another video because it would just be too much to take it off now in the midst of all of this i am missing two two maybe three pieces yeah no four pieces <laughs> four pieces that i have sold so there was a Kendrick Lamar piece that my best friend bought off me. It was so dope. It was my first black and white piece. I was petrified to do it because I'm like, I can't do black and white. I literally kept saying, I was like, I can't do black and white, but I was like pressured into doing it. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try it, whatever. It came out so sweet. So you can definitely still see that on my Instagram channel. Also, it's Jaded Denise Art. Go check me out over there. It's still up over there, but that piece, came out amazing i fell in love with it i posted it everywhere like it went crazy um on snapchat and everything like that so and what's crazy about that now is i prefer black and white pieces like i love black and white pieces now so yeah i did the kendrick lamar piece that got sold to my best friend and i did a her piece that also got sold to um a good friend of mine at the time and so she has that and what else did I do? Oh, my favorite, my pride and joy, <laughs> my Guap Dad 4000 piece. If y'all don't know who Guap Dad is, you're living under a rock. I'm just gonna keep it a stack with you because Guap Dad is not only Grammy nominated and featured on the Dreamville album um, in Costa Rica and the interlude, all that good stuff, he is freaking hilarious on Instagram he is Mr. Leo himself like he's hilarious so and I did a portrait of him I swear I wish I had pictures of it that I could insert still I did a portrait of him and I he was like on Twitter one day he's just on Twitter and he's like you guys ask me some questions blah blah and I'm like oh this is my time to shine I got literally under that tweet and i was like how'd i do and just inserted that picture of my portrait he literally quote tweeted it can you send this to me can i what no 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 son can i what can i send that sir i will send myself screaming i am literally at the house alone i am losing it i'm like there's no way there's no way he's like bull crapping no this man hits me in the DMs with the address to send it to. I send it literally probably a week later, he posts it on Twitter. Yeah, I can't believe it. He actually put it up. That was like my first interact, inter interaction, hello? Interaction with a celebrity and my art, like literally. So he has that piece. So that's like one of the third pieces that are gone. Is the fan favorite. <laughs> like, the most likes on like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, honestly, was this WAP piece. This was my second, so I did do this out of order. This was my second big piece, as in like on a big canvas. And I had to literally 
get this out in time for when the video had dropped, when all the hype was. So I want to say I got it out probably the next morning. While I think it's pretty good, it definitely could be touched up. And I think once it's touched up, it'll be really dope. So this is my baby. <laughs> um, if you're on Twitter and you're part of art Twitter, then you know about the portrait party. I think that happened in 2020. Um, there was like the big portrait party. I know like a lot of black artists participated in it and that was just so amazing to see their work. And I'm like, I have to be a part of this. Like, I need to find friends, art friends, and people need to see my work. <laughs> and like the hashtag was popping. So I did this self portrait and I did this, I think that really helped my energy. Like I absolutely love this piece because of where I was mentally when I did it and how it came out and how pretty I thought I was and all this stuff. I ain't gonna cry y'all, I just <clears throat> got a cold. Um, I wanna say this happened after Portrait Party, so sometime will last Halloween, obviously. So yeah, so people were doing like the Spooktober pieces and just a bunch of Halloween pieces. I missed the deadline yet again. So this was a rushed painting yet again. Like I wanted to be a part of all of that. I'm like, oh my God, I need, people like to be friends with and I want them to see my art and critique my art and help me and all this stuff and I am in love with Aaliyah J if you are a part of like beauty YouTube you know who Aaliyah is like I said it was a rush job I literally got it out the day after Halloween so like wasn't even popping or nothing and I was like oh forget it people don't care about the Halloween pieces anymore like we are straight to Christmas now so this doesn't even matter so I tagged Aaliyah in it though. I tagged Aaliyah in it. It was just like, oh, I use this at Aaliyah J reference photo. And I kid you not, maybe, maybe 10, 20 minutes later, Aaliyah J retweeted. Aaliyah J quote tweeted. Excuse y'all, like not Guap Dad and now Aaliyah. Like if y'all know me, I love both of these people. Now, this piece is my pride and joy. Like I have this literally sitting on my box of my other pieces as the one in the forefront because I just love to look at this piece all day and night. Like all day and night. I was in an art funk for the longest. I called myself on a hiatus. Like people were hitting me up like, oh, can you do this piece for me? Can you do this portrait? And I'm like, mm -hmm, I would love to but i can't like i suck at art i'm never doing art again <laughs> thanks for asking though but i'm never doing art again my like, girl shut up like just being a big baby about it because i did like a really terrible piece before this piece two months ago mind you and i'm just like i'm never doing art again like this was a phase i thought i was good whatever i thought is wrong it's like i couldn't believe that i called myself quitting art and then produce this i i was like I'm a genius, I am a goddess. I I am everything that I need to be. <laughs> if you know, you know. Okay, this is my Space Jam to LeBron painting and <clears throat> y'all, I did that. I don't care. I don't care what nobody think about this. I did that. Like flat out, this is also one of my favorite pieces i probably said that about like 30 pieces and you're like girl what is your favorite piece this is one of them okay <laughs> and so many people did like michael jordan space jam pieces over the years i'm like okay so this is not necessarily my era but you know i'm seeing this one unfold for the younger generation i gotta do something so i did this piece um probably like three days after the movie or something like that if you've seen this picture there is a shadow like across his eyes there's a shadow and it was driving me insane i'm like i cannot do it i can't get it right i'm doing his eyes like over and over again and i'm decent at eyes so i'm like there, there's just no way i can do this so i just i was getting mad <laughs> i was like ready to destroy this canvas i grabbed some red paint took it across his eyes and i was like hold on Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. This looks dope. So I kept it and had to make an executive decision on <laughs> whether or not to add the tunes design to it or not. Added the design. Chef's kiss. 
chef's kiss. I, I, I ain't gonna lie. I did that. Thank y'all so much for tuning in for this video. Like this was such a fun video for me to do, honestly. I thought a lot of my work was gonna be embarrassing, but honestly, I'm so inspired. So if you guys wanna see what I got coming up next, you gotta subscribe. You gotta subscribe, cause y'all don't wanna miss another one of these videos, but in my future art gallery, okay? We're manifesting, all right? Don't mind the dance, we're manifesting. But anyways, y'all, if y'all enjoyed the video, go ahead and like, subscribe, leave a comment on what your favorite piece was and what you want to see me do next. I need some suggestions. But thank you guys so much again for tuning in and I'll see you next time.